Now we're going to do a slightly more complicated problem. And this is going to be a redox reaction with the dichromate ion. And it's going to react with HNO2 to give us chromium 3 plus and nitrate, NO3 minus. So we're going to do the same approach, and we're going to split this into two half reactions. First, the oxidation, HNO2 gains oxygen. And dichromate is reduced. Because it loses oxygen. So our first step, of course, is to balance the non-oxygen and hydrogen atoms. HNO2 and NO3 are balanced. Dichromate and the chromium 3 plus ion need to be balanced because two chromiums result from the dichromate. Now we go back and we balance the oxygen. Two oxygens on the left, three on the right, so we need to add one water molecule. Now we have one, two, three hydrogens on the left, so we need to add three H plus on the right. Now to balance the charge, each side needs to have a net zero charge. So to the right, we have to add two electrons. For the dichromate half reaction, we have seven oxygens on the left, so we need to have seven oxygens on the right. So we're going to add seven water molecules. Now we have 14 hydrogens on the right, so we're going to add 14 H plus on the left. Now in order to balance the charge, each side needs to have a net 3 plus charge. So we have 14 pluses, 2 minuses, gives us a total of 12 plus, so we need to add 6 electrons. Once again, there's 3 plus on this side and 2 of them, so there's a total of 6 plus on the right. We need to have a total of 6 plus on the left, so 6 electrons plus 2 minus gives us 8 minus. 8 minus plus 14 plus gives us our 6 plus. Now we need to equalize the electrons, and we see in the first reaction that we wrote, the first half reaction, which is the oxidation, we're producing two electrons. We need to produce six electrons. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply this reaction, our oxidation, by three. So we will get the following half reaction. And everything in that half reaction needs to be multiplied by 3. And after multiplying everything by 3, we see that we produce 6 electrons in the oxidation, and we're going to use 6 electrons in the reduction. Now we can cross off things from each side and add the oxidation and reduction together. So the electrons cancel. We have three waters on the left, seven on the right, so that will cancel to four waters. We've got 14 H plus on the left and nine on the right, so we will have a total of five H plus. Now we can add everything together.
And then what we have written now is the balanced redox reaction in acidic solution for dichromate reacting with HN2. We can change this to a reaction in basic solution if we add OH- to cancel out the H+. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add 5OH- to both sides. And when we add those together, what we get is the following. The OH- combined with the H+, plus gives us five waters. And now we just need to cancel out the 5 here with the 4 here and rewrite the final reaction in basic solution. And now we have our balanced redox reaction in basic solution. And I know my work wasn't quite as neat on this one, but I think you can get the idea. And hopefully you can do this one on your own after having watched me do it once.